Welcome everyone to WWTA News. Here we look at crypto, finance, and economic news. I'm your host EB and thank you for joining us. So Marcus, would CBDCs increase currency substitution and financial stability risks, especially in countries with weaker economic fundamentals? How should we think through these issues? Thanks a lot, Sheila. It's a pleasure to be with you and to be, have the opportunity to talk here at this forum. So I would like to change the perspective a little bit. So there's a lot of debate. If we introduce CBDC, how will it change the stability of the international monetary system if we introduce it now? But I think what's really important to understand is that um, we will change the system anyway. So we should actually see what happens if we have a new system and we have it with CBDC or not with CBDC. And how will the new world look like? So we will have a new world where you can much more easily switch across currencies. So the switching costs decline. And you know, the way it will be in the future is that you can just go in a store and in the augmented reality glasses from Google or Apple or whatever, uh, you can actually then see already the favorite currency, the, the price in your favorite currency. So things will change a lot. All right, so, uh, wow. You know, it, it, the, the IMF is letting us know. They're letting us know. Look, it's here. This is the new economy. This is the new system. It's not going anywhere. Whether they used cryptocurrency or not, they were going to change the economy and the system anyway. So this really goes back to the to the concept of what's going to happen to the dollar, right? You know, we, we talk about uh, the, the debt, right? We talk about, you know, debtclock.org and we look at how much you know, the total debt for the United States is in, in you know, as a whole. And uh, we talk about the debt with interest. And I mean, it's ridiculous, right? And it's not just the United States. All nations, countries, lands, peoples, they all have the same issue, right? So the International Monetary Fund, as well as, as all the other organizations, they're, they're working this situation out on a, gr a grand scale. OK, there is a new system. Uh, the new system is in cryptocurrencies. You're going to see stable coins. You're going to see currencies for using systems. You're going to see currencies for transactions with these systems. You're going to see uh, uh, data and, and, and all these different things are going to be happening. Artificial intelligence is going to be running these things. You know, you have technology right now. You have currencies right now where data is sent from your vehicle, not your personal vehicle, but from like if you own the BMW, I think BMW and Mercedes uses technology where their information is sent to a server and, and, and is sent on the blockchain. So they're nine times out of 10, they're using currency and this, these, these, currencies or tokens are what's being transacted in the background on the blockchain with artificial intelligence. The systems are here. Blockchain is here. Cryptocurrency is here. You know, they're making it clear, more clear by the day. All these news articles that I keep bringing to the surface, it's about adoption. It's about adoption in this place, in that place. You know, it's not going anywhere. This is going to be the new system. All right. So, Hopefully this one right here helps more people see like, you know, you're running around with funny money. They're getting rid of it. Oh, no, they'll never get rid of the U.S. dollar. Uh, oh, OK. Well, you tell that to the IMF and all these other organizations and these other you go tell that to El Salvador. Right. Yeah. OK. The dollar can still be transacted. Well, OK. But look at the other currencies that are now being used. All right. It's going to listen. We understand that the United States dollar was used for for sanctioning, right? You, you know, they, they used their money as a power or a weapon against other nations, right? Those days are over with. Those days are done and over with. So, yeah, I mean, this video is just more of the IMF basically telling us, look, this is what's going on. There's no secrets. Nobody's hiding anything. They they talk about it right in front of everybody. Thank you for joining us at WWTA News. If you enjoyed our video, please hit the subscribe and like button. And join us next time to follow the news in crypto, finance, and economics.